erythroblastosis fetalis is called erythroblastosis fetalis because being a hemolytic disease with a tremendous amount of hemolysis going on, the uh, bone marrow, or I should actually say the um, erythroid precursors respond in such a way that sometimes, often, actual erythroblasts are seen in the baby's uh, peripheral blood. This is a liver of a baby with erythroblastosis fetalis. You know that normally uh, erythropoiesis goes on in the fetal liver and may persist for a month or two, and then eventually all of the erythropoiesis and myelopoiesis goes on in the bone marrow. But in the uh, fetal stages, normally, uh, when you look at the liver, you'll see little nests of cells here and here and here and here. You can already see that there are increased numbers of cells. This is normal uh, erythropoiesis in the fetal liver. And if you were to look uh, more carefully, You'll have, and if you had uh, perhaps a better stain and a higher power, you can recognize some of these erythroid cells. It's always easy to recognize the megakaryocytes because they look so big. But you could see uh, there's probably a myelocyte or a metamyelocyte there, probably a myelocyte there. And uh, I hope I could find a megakaryocyte pretty soon because then we don't like possibly here, but I don't think so. Uh, because once you do, then you know that these are not nests of inflammatory cells, but they are indeed normal erythroid and myeloid precursors. This may be a megakaryocyte, but usually they're a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe we'll find one on the way. Uh, I don't think that we can say that this liver is particularly diseased. We do know that hemolysis was going on, and as the result of any hemolytic process, the uh, erythroid tissue responds by becoming hyperplastic. So if there is normally a certain degree of erythropoiesis and uh, to a lesser extent myelopoiesis going on in the liver, the fact that this baby has a uh, hemolytic process going on, you would expect more erythropoiesis to be going on. So there is more erythropoiesis in this fetal liver or newborn liver than there should be. You know I'm still looking for those damn megakaryocytes. Uh, I could see all kinds of cells that look like they might be uh, uh, myeloid or uh, perhaps eosinophil precursors. And uh, these are not just your normal inflammatory cells. The vast majority of these cells with the small dark nuclei are erythroid cells. They are not lymphocytes like you'd expect to see in a liver with hepatitis. And bingo, I'm happy now. I found a megakaryocyte. So in hemolytic diseases of the newborn, the liver normally has erythropoiesis, but where there's hemolysis going on at any stage of life, the place where the uh, red blood cells are being made are hyperplastic. So these are nor e no more erythroid cells than normal. Thank you very much.